Hello, my friends, and welcome to another ladder battle. I'm here on stream right now. We're going to be casting JYJ versus Zealot. Make sure to drop by stream and hang out sometime. We're going to be learning some things today. So let's get into this game. I just watched Larva versus uh, Sock, and I don't think I really learned anything. So we're going to go into this game here, and hopefully we can pick up a build now see what kind of cheeky stuff Zealot is doing on ladder right now uh, against a player the quality of JYJ. I'm sure he's going to have some sort of sneaky play style. Maybe a Guardian build, maybe a Lurker build. We used to call it Shine Mr. Bag of Builds, but I think this is our next generation Bag of Builds player here. Z Zealot has some wacky wacky stuff looks like he's gonna be going for 12 hatch into pool and gas that doesn't really tell us too much pretty normal opening but as we get into this game i'm sure we're gonna see some crazy things now jyj and zealot are both in this asl season asl 17 which is going to be starting in at the end of february i believe it's february 28th will be the first day of the group stages so I'm really looking forward to seeing them both perform. They could end up matching up. We haven't seen uh, the group stages laid out just yet. But that is a possibility. They didn't meet each other in the qualifiers at all. So JYJ here moving out with the first couple of Marines. I know how Zealot likes to play. And he will usually build a sunken colony here at the front. That is his typical way of playing. Unless he's evolved over the past, uh, you know, few months here. He's going to see this Overlord. Gets a little damage on that. And we have Lings being morphed right now. Lings are going to be popping out. Can he get a drone? Oh, he will get the drone. Really unfortunate here. Losing a drone this early is painful. Had he moved the larva to the left-hand side before making the drone, he actually probably could have saved that. A little bit sad there. Sending out the links now. We've gathered up to four marines. Hopefully, he's got six links to fight this. He only has four at the moment, but he starts another pair. Four marines going to head on back home. He's done the damage that he wanted to do. He's put on that pressure. He sees the links with the SCV. Two more set, another set of links coming out here. So he's going to go up to eight links with speed on the way as well. Going to throw down his spire. JYJ already at an advantage here. Can he push it further though? Picks off a link. Chasing that SCV. A little bit of sloppiness from Zealot here. And I think that Zealot is actually not going to build a sunken colony this time, which is a bit, a bit of a surprise. He's actually continuing to build lings here, which won't really serve him well since we have this uh, wall in at the front, but maybe if he attacks right now, yeah, if he attacks before the Marines move back behind the wall, that could be strong, but I think that JYJ will be hiding behind this wall and these this ling attack will not do much damage at all. Let's see, he's mining one on gas right now. That's interesting. Just what one, one SCV on gas here as he pumps out huge amounts of lings in order to try and ravage this first marine push out. Two medics are gonna come. Stim pack will be complete, and we're gonna see JYJ start to move out. It's a gambit here for Zealot. He knows that this bush is coming. If he can completely shut this down, he's going to find himself in a great position. If the Marines do not end up dying, he's going to be in a terrible spot. Running in now, that's quite a lot of lings, but the Marines are doing a pretty decent job, and he's really microing his heart out here. Yeah, it looks like JYJ going to take this fight. A lot of Marines did die. We're down to just four, and with seven mutas on the way. Oh, he built two fire bats as well. This is not good. He could try to run them around and maybe get them into the natural. And I think that's what he's going to do. He's going to run them to the middle of the map. Avoid the mutas. We don't have any more lings popping. And we do not have a, a, a sunken colony. So maybe he can run into the natural and get a bunch of damage here. Uh, while the, the, the mutalists are actually 
microing over here on the right hand side of the map trying to get some damage he's not really finding any right now but he does sneak in here finding a little bit of a weak spot at the bottom of the mineral line just the six muta though not able to one shot scvs just yet gonna come in here get a couple of hits off on some of these marines but in the meantime here comes the fire bats fire bats gonna run right in he just sees it now but he's microing so hard on the terran side of the map how many kills is this gonna get he hasn't noticed it yet oh jyj not controlling this he should be stimming these and going in he could kill so many drones right now what is he doing finally he notices he's gonna send them in four drones have fallen five drones are gonna go down where are the mutas they're actually hanging out out here he's not really doing anything about these fire bats unfortunately so many kills right now three and three that's six total drone kills in the main and natural i think this could be the end for zealot he's gonna run in and try to do something with these mutas here but jyj is going to pull him apart i feel as soon as all of the mutalists are dead whoa he actually turns that fight pretty heavily in his favor and will be able to take over this gas geyser still there is enough gas banked up for jyj to continue to produce medics he's gonna just keep building turrets here he knows that all he needs to do is survive right now and eventually zealot will peter out more mutas making their way over a little bit surprising i thought he would be desperately meet, remaking drones at the moment but seems like he has a few more and he actually overwhelms some medics marines and medics one more time very nicely done i don't think he can do that again but he will buy himself a little bit of time to kill some more scvs right now still 33 to 19 it is a brutal deficit that that uh zealot finds himself in he's gonna dive on top of these marines but in the end is driven back how many drones do we have back at home it's looking dismal here guys he can still produce non-stop muta but that's about all he can do he can't take a base i think there's a oh i thought there was a a drone under here but we've just got two overlords here for that micro uh, unfortunate for zealot i don't think he can go any further in this game that's way too many turrets and all he's doing is making Muta. Eventually, we're going to get into a Valkyrie. So maybe this is not the game to learn from, guys. This is really unfortunate. I think the uh, Ling attack was was uh, a well-thought-out timing. Pretty smart here. You know, picking off all of, those, um, all of those Marines in the early game. But not catching the... Fire bats moving across the map, and that's why he usually builds a sunken colony. That's why it is just typical uh, from Zealot that he always builds a sunken colony because he is going to be microing very heavily these mutas, trying to get as much damage as possible. He's very good at it. So having that sunken colony just gives you that peace of mind. You know that nothing like two marines or two fire bats can just run in and kill a bunch of your drones. Unfortunately, he skipped that this game. Going instead for that Ling Swell. And now we've got the Valkyrie out here. This should be GG. He taps out. And a JYJ takes game number one. Oh. Oh, just letting them all die. Yikes. All right, let's jump into the next one. Let's go into this next game. We've got Zealot here in the top right-hand corner. JYJ down in the bottom right. Whoa, I just forgot his name for a second. But this is JYJ, the former ASL champion. Again, we are here on stream. Casting these games. We're going to be studying and playing some ladder. After checking out this series. So definitely drop by and check out the stream sometime, guys. We're on Twitch and YouTube. As we jump into this one. What will be the plan here? From Zealot in this game number two. He just 
got a little bit wrecked by a Firebat run by in that first game. Hope he can pull things together here. And make a game out of this one. Eight racks. Eight racks from JYJ. You know, we actually saw this in the qualifiers. JYJ in qualifier number one for ASL 17. He got knocked out by Shine. And the reason was he went eight racks twice in a row versus him. <laughs> he did eight racks both times and Shine shut it down perfectly. Now, will Zealot be able to do the same? We're once again on La Campanea. Which has a very short rush distance. No, no drone being sent out here. Of course, we can't fully afford a uh, bunker just yet. We need to build a supply depot. And a marine. There's the bunker now. It is in range of the Overlord. He sees it. This is a bit unfortunate. You know, you'd like to have the drone here to start hitting this immediately. Look at how much construction has been finished on this bunker already. Before the drones can even arrive. If you have the drone here already. If you send out a drone when you see the SCV. You can, you can slow this down by quite a lot by just dealing damage to the SCV while it's trying to construct the bunker, but this is already almost complete. The drones here are going to try and dive on top of these Marines. He's getting on top of them, but there's three here now. This is like picture perfect from our uh, practice game. What is it called? Uh, Cadenzi's micro challenge. What is this? That was six drones versus three Marines and two uh, SCVs. He managed to keep three drones alive, but losing those first three drones is very, very painful. And it's complete success here for JYJ. You're not dead with those uh, drones being lost, but JYJ is going to be feeling very nice about his eight racks. And he will have a big advantage here. Just full Ling production coming. Oh boy, Zealot is going to build just pure Ling here and try to win. Can he actually get in there and deal any damage? I think the... Oh, he will get the SCV. There's quite a few Marines here and he's just continuing to produce. He's going to dive on top of it. Going after the Supply Depot? Really? All right, we're going to kill the Supply Depot. Can we kill the Marine and get past this? He's going to go in now. Sending the Lings in. We're going to bring the SCVs forward. Oh, great block there by JYJ. The Lings can't do anything. Oh, man, this is so bad. Just pure Ling production here from Zealot. He went straight into uh, a speed play, and he is going to get in. The Marine's not really reacting here on the right-hand side. I guess they have to stay there. Otherwise, he could end up getting you know run by on the right-hand side. More Links are coming across the map here. He's going after some SCVs in the main. But we've got more buildings being thrown down here at the front. Perfect response here from JYJ. He will, I think, be able to hold even with this number of lings here. I don't think we can handle this. Okay, he's going to hit both sides at the same time. He's hitting the Supply Depot once again. Picking off quite a few of the Marines here. Going to go after this SCV, but the SCVs at the front are so beefy. With the repair as well, it's too strong He's not going to be able to get through this. JYJ holds at the front. And Zealot is beaten back once again. Coming in for a final try here. Can he get through? He does. He slips through. Oh my god, he gets in. That is crazy. JYJ was holding so well, but he does get through. And now the Lynx can continue to spill forward. He's going to be able to get this next Marine. How did that happen? What on earth did we just see there? SCVs were blocking for so long and at the 11th hour JYJ messes up the micro and when it seemed like he was going to be able to win this game when it seemed like he was going to hold now he's lost all of his Marines and the bunker SCVs are going down left right and center even though there's only nine drones that's enough 
to keep on pumping out lings here and eventually win this game. Getting surrounded, but it does not matter. GG is called. JYJ taps out. Zealot takes game number two. Zealot rarely gets an over 20 minute game. Very, very rarely against Terran. We usually see like 10, 11 to 15 minutes. That was a bit faster than we right normally see, but he got the win. We managed to get in there. Shocking. I was actually not even looking at the at the wall. So guys, jumping into game number three, I was not even looking at the wall when the Lings managed to get through. I guess JYJ wasn't either. It seemed like the, the rush was just held. Everything was held. And JYJ was going to be able to take that game, but a lapse in attention or judgment there with the SCVs in the wall means that Zealot has just evened out this series as we go into this third game. The tiebreaker here. What is going to happen? Are we going to see another eight racks? It seems like despite, you know, JYJ pulling off a pretty decent eight racks that last game. And I mean, he did a pretty good job in the qualifiers as well against Shine, but it just does not seem to be his build. It got him eliminated. Uh, in that first qualifier and it lost him this game here versus zealot so i hope he doesn't do it again and it looks like he's not we have the supply depot here in the main and no barracks first so a more normal game here and it looks like zealot is prepared for that as well going for another 12 hatch very standard in this matchup but against eight racks it is difficult to hold very difficult to hold now. What are we going to see from Zealot? I'm watching very carefully here to see the timing on this pool. 11 with the drone popping out and immediate gas. We'll find out what he wants to do after that layer is complete. For now. Everything is quiet here on the Western Front. Nothing too much going on here. I want to shout out the guys in the chat. Thank you for being here. And of course, everyone on Patreon. I appreciate you guys. I'm really having fun with streaming. And uh, despite my uh, failures on ladder... We are still having a good time. Saving up a lot of larva here. He's going to pop a bunch of lings right now. Will he make a full six or is it just going to be four? No, okay, just four and into drones after that. I'm curious what the thinking is right now. Like, why not build drones there and then make the... Make, you know, two lings here and with that fresh... Uh, larva that just popped out make another ling but maybe the timing if there were marines coming across the map you need to have all of those larvae available i'm not 100 percent sure gonna keep keep chasing this scv and oh my goodness we are going to starport jyj mixing it up completely you know jyj has some of the best marine medic control in the business he is so so good with that control but he's been kind of straying away from that recently he hasn't been showing that as much and going for a uh double two port wraith play this is like a later build here not something you expect out of a player like jyj whose fundamentals are so solid but i guess Doing something like this is going to, you know, throw Zealot off of his build, perhaps. We've got a Spire here. This is a very interesting position for the Spire. I wonder if this actually helps the mining. Very interesting spot for the Spire. Generally, it's considered best to not put your Spire in the natural. It's better to put it in the main base. Because there are occasions where you might just get broken over in the... 
uh, natural. And if you lose your spire, the game is just over. But if you pull your drones and you don't lose the hatch, you might survive. But first two wraiths are coming across the map here. The spire is not complete. We, I don't think we have Burrow, do we? I don't think that he's seen this. He's coming in, coming forward. He's going to see it after the wraiths have already arrived. And this is a pain, guys. I've felt this feeling before many a time. This is not where you want to be as a Zerg player. Going to start to lose overlords here. The mutas are gonna, going to pop soon, but... Okay, he does not get supply blocked. So he can make some mutas, but I've had it before where... Your Spire finishes, and the Wraiths kill all of your Overlords before your your Spire is done. And you can't even make a single Muta. That is the worst feeling in the world, but he went for some Drones first. And now he's picking off Overlords. He's going to get this Overlord here, and he might get this Overlord as well. We'll see. He is going for that Cloak. So you can't actually attack him right now. And he... Oh, okay. I like this. I think I know exactly what we're doing here as uh as larva or not as larva sorry i just casted a game of larva as zealot um i think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pop a bunch of overlords we're gonna make overlord speed and right when we have an overwhelming number of muta and overlord speed we're gonna bring all the overlords with us and just attack we're just going to attack we do not have an engineering bay yet there are no turrets we know that this Terran player is going to be relying on the fact that he has Cloak. He's coming in with the Cloak. Going to start to pick off Overlords. No, he sees the Mutas. Oh, no. The Mutas are getting caught right now. This is the worst possible... Uh, this is the worst possible result right here. You ch cannot be allowing your Mutas to get caught right now. Where are the Overlords? They need to get over here. Oh, no, he's taking some more damage. He's going to start to lose overlords. He does get on top of the wraiths for a second, but great control here by JYJ. Going to get another overlord for free. Some pot shots on these mutas as well. What you want to have happen is all of the mutas and overlords head across the map. You get your overlords to here, and you force the fight in the uh, Terran base. There's no turrets. There's just a few marines. That is the plan. He's bringing all the overlords with him. He's got some overlords here as well. Or one overlord over here as well. So he can bring those all to bear. And you can't really utilize Cloak against this. The Cloak is not going to do much for you. So the big fight is about to occur. More and more mutas are going to be rallied across the map here. He's going to try and take this. Great micro from JYJ. Getting extra shots off here as he tries to move forward. The Wraith are in high number. We've got a full 10 Wraiths here. Some of them are badly damaged, but so are a lot of these Mutas. We've only got 9 Mutas, but more are joining. And he can actually make more Mutas than the uh, the Terran player can make Wraiths. However, if he keeps losing Overlords, he will have to switch to Overlord production back at home and not make as many uh, Mutas here. Trying to take some pot shots, but there's so much damage coming onto these units. Getting that tiny bit of extra space here is JYJ. The Wraiths actually have a slight, just a tiny bit more range than the Mutas. Mutas definitely fight better overall, but oh my god. I think we've hit the breaking point now. 11 Wraiths, and we do not have that many Mutas. So I think that with this many Wraiths, you can actually take the fight here. Oh, I, I guess it's kind of close. In fact, we're going to even out. A lot of wraiths went down there. One more kill on this. Overload will give him full control over this area, but... Zealot going to push that back for now. The race, wraiths getting a little bit too frisky there. They wanted to take that fight. He thought he had overwhelming numbers. But I think he was just proven wrong. Dropping down to just five wraiths, and more and more mutas are coming. Getting another Muta kill here. Wraiths doing very, very well for themselves. Finally, some turrets are going to be started. Okay, he will stabilize here. And with the Marines now in high enough numbers, this is going to be very hard. Very, very hard for Zealot. 
the the window of opportunity has passed i think we don't have that possibility of breaking in and forcing a fight over top of the the uh, starports there's too many marines now he's gonna be forced back he's gonna lose another overlord as well oh this is so painful just constant mutilus production here constant constant mutilus production jyj really proving his worth here his adaptability and strength with builds outside of just pure marine medic just standard play his wraith control is next level man getting another overlord here as well trying to get some shots off with these mutas but the cloak is perfectly timed preventing any more shots from going down from these mutas onto those wraiths and trying to put some pressure on here he's not getting the best shots though the glaives are not bouncing his way Picking off a few more Marines here, but another Overlord goes down. What is the follow-up play right now for Zealot? I don't know, but he's making five Overlords right now. He picks off a Wraith as it's coming to join the pack. He's got a lot of kills on these Marines as well. Only one turret here. Not as many as I thought he would end up building. I thought he would go for a lot more. Another Overlord goes down. Oh my gosh. The Overlords are falling like crazy here. And we've only got one more right now. One more at this front. I guess we don't have energy to cloak once again. But if he was, if he did have energy to cloak, he could have come in, killed this Overlord, and then gone to town on the Muta. Now more overlords do arrive. More mutas are coming up as well. It's still two base to one base. And I don't see JYJ taking this anytime soon. We should see, I think, an armory come up soon. We actually need to get into a Valkyrie if we want to keep fighting this. The Wraith play is not going to cut it, I think. Oh, another Wraith could go down. Nice shot there on that Wraith, but... Coming forward to kill some more overlords. One overlord goes down. But chase back once again. Oh, the great cloak there. Gets three full volleys off with these wraiths. While the mutas are on their retreat. Another great volley there. Another great volley. Does take some damage. Losing a couple more wraiths here. Dropping down to that eight count. We still got a lot of mutas here. But so many of them are low. Ooh, running in with one fresh muta. That is unfortunate. Losing a Muta on the rally point. Oh, and the Overlords are all vulnerable here on the right-hand side. He could end up losing a lot of them. Two, three go down. Supply blocking at a critical moment here. Zealot. More Mutas flying forward. Oh, this rallied Muta. He's got to change these rallies. If he wants to keep these Muta alive, the Overlord are, Overlords are heading home. Did he forget that there is Cloak? He needs these Overlords with the army. Picking off a lot of these Marines, shoving them back. Gotta be careful here not to fully engage with the uh, Wraiths right now. Okay, he is gonna go for it. There's the Cloak. Yes, Zealot did forget. Where are the Overlords? They're nowhere to be found. He kills another 2-3 of these uh, of these mutas and the wraiths go home happy marine medic here growing in number another couple of mutas go down another volley from the mutas here onto the wraiths and the wraith number has diminished significantly but he's still still continuing to build up this number that is crazy to me that we haven't seen a transition into a valkyrie but they are very, very expensive to get out. 250 minerals as opposed to the 150 of the Wraith. Coming in once again. Looking for some shots here with the Muta. But these uh, Marines are very closely packed here. Not much space in between them. Not much space. Uh, not, not many stragglers to actually pick off right now. The Wraiths are going to go forward. Oh my god, the Wraiths are going to go for the drones right now. This is a huge moment. He doesn't see the Wraiths. He has to know that they're coming for his drone line. All the Wraiths are going to go in right here right now. He gets two drones, three drones. And now going to Cloak and back away. Some of these do not have energy for Cloak. So he's going to pick those ones off. But the rest that do have that energy are going to get a few more 
uh, Mutalis kills, and JYJ heads home with a turret in his natural. SCV's mining here. This is a bad situation now for Zealot, who's actually building Sunkins back at home. He doesn't realize the situation he's in, that back behind this, JYJ has another base. He's pumping three Barracks Marine. And he's still got these wraiths out here looking for kills on the drone line. The moment that he sees the wraiths here, JYJ going to send in these wraiths. Uh, sorry, as soon as he sees the mutas, he's going to send in the wraiths. There it, there he goes. He's coming in. Uh, Zealot going to take this fight, but he's going to lose so many drones back at home. This is brutal. Three, four, five drones going down all at the same time. The mutas are headed back. But they actually need to spend some time confronting these Marines and not allowing them to come across the map for free. So many drones have gone down. JYJ, just stellar decision making here. Handling Zealot like it it's nothing. And look at this. He's going to run away to the bottom right hand corner. All of these have energy for another cloak. So you cannot chase these down. You cannot chase these down. And look at the Marine Medic Ball coming here. There's no drones left over. It's 13 to 37. Zealot is dead, man. He is gone. There's nothing left for him here. Overlords are spreading, looking for these wraiths, but finding the wraiths is not very good for the overlords' health. They will be picked off. He's going to try and track these down, but that's not even the real problem anymore. Look at how many wraiths we have back at home. Plus all of these Marines uh, that have been produced so far. Going to lose that one Wraith, but another group hanging down here at the bottom right. The moment he sees these Mutalists on the map, he's going to send them back in for some more kills on some drones. The drone line has been rebuilt, but here they come once again. The Wraiths looking for more damage. Here at the natural. Oh, if he leaves the Scourge here. No, he doesn't. That would buy him some time. But here they come. Wraith's going to start to get that damage here in the natural. Start to pick off some overlords. They're going to go for these kills on the drones as well. A lot of drones are going to end up going down here. We're sending back some Scourge to come and deal with this, but... All, all the drones are going to fall. There's the... Uh, a uh, cloak as well. He's going to kill this. Oh, God. He's actually attacking his own hatchery. But I think Zealot has completely fallen up, fallen apart here. A third base on the way. Are you kidding me? JYJ's got some cheek to him. GG is called. Zealot taps out. And, man, JYJ really showing his range and his depth of play, his depth of understanding of this game, continuing to impress me. And guys, that is it for this ladder battle. A really fun little series here between the former ASL champion and a man who just qualified for the ASL. Really love to see it. Zealot going to be in the ASL this season. Should be a lot of fun, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow.